guys, it's Tilly and today I'm here to talk about BookTube. So basically the first half of this video is going to be me giving you guys tips, tricks and advice on how to booktube and whether you guys should booktube or not and the second half will be my story on booktubing. First of all, if you guys want to create a booktubing channel, make sure that you do it for yourself. Do not do it for a high amount of subscribers or because you guys want a load of money because booktubing is not the way to go if you guys want both of those. One of the most popular booktubing channels has just under 400,000 subscribers. If you guys are looking for millions and millions of subscribers, I would recommend doing vlogging or beauty vlogging or game blogging because all of them make a lot more than what a booktubing account does. Secondly, if you guys think you're going to make a load of money, I can tell you now you will not. A lot of booktubers make their money from AdSense, which is the ad revenue. As you guys watch most booktubing videos, you will see that there is a little ad before the videos and the YouTuber will get a small, small, small percentage of money that comes from those ads. And it is not enough for them to pretty much live on. They will have to still work or study or do everything else because you don't get that much money from it. I'm going to be dead honest with you guys right now. I myself have just over 11,000 subscribers and I make about $85 to $100 a month on my booktube videos and that is posting about 15 to 20 videos a month. So it's a lot of effort and you don't get much in return when it comes to money. If you guys still want to create a booktubing channel, then that is great. I really do hope that you guys will enjoy it and I highly, highly recommend it. When I started out booktube, I find that I have become a lot more confident in myself and with other people and with my opinion on books as well. And I definitely have become a stronger person in the booktube community. I feel like I have a good friendship circle when it comes to books and booktubers. When you guys are going to create your booktubing channel, I highly recommend that you guys have a bookish URL. It is a sure signal for people to know that you guys going to be a channel with bookish content and they will subscribe and watch your videos just by that. When it comes to actually filming your videos I recommend that you guys have a high quality camera with a good microphone and that way that people can see you clearly when you do upload your videos. In saying that you guys do not need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on a camera or filming equipment. My first vlogging camera was a $99 webcam and that worked just fine for me. I do recommend though that you guys do look around, do your research. If you guys just google how much it costs for a good camera with filming there will be plenty of options coming up for you guys. In the video for people to watch it is a lot more enjoyable to have a clean cut video without any errors throughout it or any awkward breaks. So when it comes to editing most computers will have its own editing program when it comes to videos. You can buy better programs but I myself just use iMovie which came on my MacBook. It is quite time consuming but it makes the final product much much better. When it comes to actually posting your videos there are a few tips that I have for you guys. Have a very catchy title. People will be very intrigued with certain titles. My most popular video is Books I Hate and that is just the title of the video. It has about 55,000 views and I think a lot of those views came because people want to see what books I mentioned, if it was one of the books that they liked or disliked. It was just a title that intrigued a lot of people. When it comes to actually making your videos try to create original content people like to see what you have to offer in the booktube community and if something different you'll have a very good outcome from it as well and saying that though I do believe if you guys do want lots of viewers or subscribers I recommend also posting popular videos this does not mean to copy somebody else's video this means to make your own interpretation of someone else's video so in my opinion Cryworthy books, unpopular book opinions tag, and your favorite books of the year. These are all videos a lot of people like to watch, and if you did your own take on them, I guarantee that you guys will get views on it. When it comes to your actual channel, I recommend that you guys have your playlist set up down below so people can easily find what videos they'll be searching for. And also, when it comes to your channel art, make it bookish and make it fun and colorful, and it'll definitely attract a lot of people's attention. And one of the best ways to get into the booktube community and to get loads of viewers and subscribers is to interact with other booktubers. This could mean subscribe to other people's accounts. This could mean commenting on people's videos, liking it, sharing them on other social media platforms and signing up conversations with these people as well. After all, we're all here for one thing and it's because we absolutely love books, which means that we can always talk about them together. So that's pretty much some of my tips I have on booktubing. I know that I'm probably missing a lot of them on there. So if you guys have any questions about booktubing, feel free to leave a comment or message me on any of my other social media and I will happily give you guys tips or tricks or handy advice that you guys could need. And now I'm going to talk about my own booktubing experience because for me, I would like you guys to to see my process when it comes to uploading my videos and editing them and posting them for you guys to watch. When I first started out booktube it was very different to what it is like now. I watched my first video ever a few weeks ago and it was absolutely cringeworthy. I was so bad at editing and filming and my topics were all just so crap compared to what they are now. I'm very very happy with where I've come and where I am now in my booktubing process. I'm very, very grateful for booktube for not only making me a more comfortable person when it comes to myself and other people, but I have created a really great friendship circle that I know I never want to lose. 
So when it comes to actually doing my videos, I have a very, very strict schedule when it comes to editing and posting my videos and everything like that. And because I have such a busy life schedule, I work full time and I also have my social life that I have to film on certain days, edit on certain days and post the videos as well. As a bit of insight to you guys, this is how I stay on top of everything. I have my calendar and this has all the videos that I plan to film for the next few months and when I'm going to film them and what I'm going to film and everything like that. So on here, what I'm actually currently filming now is my how to booktube I have this scheduled for to go out on the 23rd of January I'm currently filming it today which is the Saturday the 14th and so obviously I have a lot of pre-filmed videos ready to go out because if I don't have them ready I probably won't get around to doing them and then have really irregular uploads and I really don't want that I have one day dedicated every week to filming my videos and I try to film three to four videos a week so that I can upload them in this one I have my how to booktube Australian authors and an unboxing as well and that'll take me up to the end of January I really really try to stay on top of what I'm going to be videoing which is why I have my videos planned out for such a long time in advance because otherwise I spend my time standing in front of the camera trying to figure out what I'm going to speak about and it's just pointless because I waste half the day when I could have been filming videos. So once I do film these videos I have about two to three days to edit all of them and then I upload them on certain days because it's when the Wi-Fi is better than other days so it's very very strict schedule to get everything out and everything ready. When it comes to actually editing that is another whole day for me to take off to just edit my videos. It is a very very, very time consuming process and because I upload so many videos it is a whole lot of work for me to do it. Like I said earlier on this video I only make about 85 to 100 dollars when it comes to my ad revenue but I'm very happy with what I get from that but I'm also much happier with the outcome I get from people who watch my videos and the comments and the community that it involves around it. I'm so so grateful to be part of this booktube community and although it takes a lot of time on my part I still wouldn't have it any other way. Anyway, that video is kind of very long and confusing, but I hope that you guys have enjoyed it and that you guys did get some handy tricks and tips out of that one as well. I'm not really sure how it's going to be. I'm going to have to edit this and it's going to be a lot of hard work because I did not make this easy on myself. Anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely bookish day and that great things happen to you and thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to check me out on my other social media. I have my Instagram where I post lots of bookish photos and my Goodreads if you guys want to stay on top of my different bookish stuff. And then I also have on my Facebook and blog and everything everything else down below. Thanks, bye! Alright, so if all of my subscribers are in your room right now, this is what it would look like.